What's better than an app store with discounts? Not a lot, right? Maybe two app stores with discounts? <laughs> Android users get the liberty of using the Google Play Store and the Amazon App Store. Now, the Amazon App Store have, has been around for years, but it seems that most have either never heard of it or, in my case, forgotten about it. Now, when it came out a few years ago, it was bad, okay? The app was slow, app selection was worse than Google Play, app updates had to be done manually, which was a huge pain in the butt. Uh, there were uh, daily free apps, which was kind of cool, but the UI was just so bad and so clunky and it clashed with Google Play so much that most people, including myself, used, stopped using it entirely. And that's a bummer because now Amazon App Store has a lot of really, really cool features. I started using it again about six months ago and I've really enjoyed it because all of the initial problems have been fixed uh, with the new Amazon App Store, but that's not enough for most people to go shop at Amazon instead of Google Play and it wasn't for me either. But Amazon has implemented a few cool new features, one of which is called Amazon Underground, which is awesome and I'm going to talk about it in a minute. Now, if you don't know how to install the Amazon App Store, it's really pretty easy. All you need to do is open the settings application on your Android phone, then you need to tap the security tab and then you need to enable the installation of apps from unknown sources. This just means that we can install stuff from a source or a location other than the Google Play Store. Once you've done that, you need to navigate to the link that I've listed in the video description below and or you can just Google Amazon App Store. And then you need to download and install the Amazon App Store by following the easy prompts uh, on your Android phone. Now, once you've got the app installed, uh, the great thing about the new app is that um, the Amazon App Store is directly integrated into the regular Amazon shopping app. So it's going to look instantly familiar. There are not two applications that clutter your home screen. It just adds a little section to your existing Amazon app you have installed. So you can shop for items on Amazon as you normally would, or you can pull the sidebar out and then select the App Store section. Now, I actually search on the Amazon App Store before going to Google Play now uh, for two main reasons, and I've done this for a few months. Amazon has a newish service called Underground, and it's freaking awesome because all of the apps are actually free. Uh, no, you don't need to watch video ads or take surveys to earn credit. There's not a bunch of crap you need to do. It, every app is legitimately actually free. No catches, no nothing to it. It's free, which is great. Uh, let's take uh, Monument Valley, for example. That's one of my favorite games for mobile phones. On the Google Play Store, the game is full price, which I believe is $3.99. And then if you want to purchase the additional in-app uh, purchase level pack, that's an extra $1.99. Well, on Amazon Underground, that game is free. Zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah, it's totally legal. Amazon has dealt with the developer. They got all the legal stuff covered. You can trust Amazon, right? I think. Now, once you beat the main levels on the app, you can dodge the $1.99 in-app purchase and get the additional levels for free as well. So, I mean, that game, in my opinion, is easily worth five bucks, but the only thing better than paying five bucks for a great game is paying zero dollars for a free game. <laughs> Another example, um, what's that party? Oh, Heads Up, I love that game. It's very fun. I play it all the time with my friends. Uh, on the Google Play Store, it's free, which is awesome because on iOS, it's a dollar. So already, Android users have it better than iOS peeps. But on the Amazon App Store, not only do you get the game for free, but you also get all of the additional card pack expansions for free too. That's $32 of in-app purchases that are actually free. No strings attached. So it's pretty easy to see why Amazon Underground is awesome. I've downloaded dozens and dozens of applications, probably totaling hundreds of dollars, uh, maybe not thousands, but hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, for free, which I would not be able to get anywhere else, not on iOS nor on Android through the Google Play Store. Now, obviously not everything is free. So another feature that Amazon has implemented to get you to stay inside their store instead of heading back over to Google Play is Amazon Coins. Now, Amazon Coins are pretty simple once you get the basis of it. You can buy Amazon Coins with real money, which are then redeemed to purchase applications and make in-app purchases. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would I use Amazon Coins over cash? And the reason you do so is that if you buy Amazon Coins, you can save up to $20 on pre-purchasing applications. So, for example, you can get $50 worth of Amazon Coins for $40, so you save 10 bucks. There are also several in-app purchases that are discounted even further if you pay with Amazon coins instead of cash. So instead of being a dollar, you know, an in-app purchase may be 50 cents. So honestly, I'm not a huge coins user, but for people who spend a lot of money on apps and especially in-app purchases for games that require those, uh, this route can save a lot of money and I could see how it'd be something that a lot of people would be attracted to. At the end of the day, 
Uh, two app stores means two times the options. I continue to use both the Google Play Store and the Amazon App Store. I love both of them, but Amazon is successfully winning my heart over because Underground is so awesome. I can download dozens and dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of apps for free. And there's continually better app discounts. Uh, when there's you know, a promotion running for an app, it's usually cheaper in the Amazon App Store than it is in the Google Play Store. So you should give Amazon App Store a shot. Uh, if you've never tried it, it's definitely worth a shot. If you have tried it a few years ago and you hated it, I understand, I was one of you. But uh, it's really, really improved and I'm actually really quite confident you'll like it. Uh, that was all for me. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.